Hello, my name is Ronnie Sarrett Letterman. My website is vocalfocus.com. Welcome to my video on improving your voice. Let's take your voice to the next level. This is the tongue release routine. Most of you don't even think about tongue tension, and yet we all have some to varying degrees and it really does affect our sound for either speaking or singing. Tongue tension can be released, but to find out how to totally release it and check each day for how your tongue is doing, please watch to the end of this video to get all the really important information that I want to share with you today. So tongue release is my secret weapon for getting a better voice and it puts you one step ahead of the competition for singers or speakers. Muscles release in groups. They, so muscles around your tongue are your jaw, muscles of the face, throat, shoulders. All of it works together. Even if you try this, just make a fist, you might feel the back of your tongue and your throat getting tight. The tongue is right on top of your vocal cords, connected through a membrane, so it's closely related to your sound. And I'm talking about the back of your tongue, which is really only there for swallowing, but yet it creeps in into our voices a lot more than we'd like it to. Yes. So part A of this video is how to release tongue tension. And as we get into part B, which are the exercises, if you sense tongue tension, and I'll show you how to find it in a minute, you will go back to part A and do these releases. They're very, very easy. One thing I do want to say is that you know, learning from a YouTube video is great, but it's no substitute for one-on-one -on -one voice lessons with somebody in real time who can hear what you're doing and correct you in the moment. And if you are interested in voice lessons, YouTube is a great place to find a voice teacher because you can really see how different people teach, see who you're comfortable with, and if you learn something from them. And by the way, I do teach over Zoom if anyone is interested. So, part A, as promised, is how to relax the tongue. So one thing I want you to do is just become aware of the tongue in your throat and think of it as big and fat and soft like a blob. Sitting by your lower front teeth, think of your jaw as relaxed too. And it kind of expands and gets fatter as it relaxes. You want it to be so relaxed that you um, don't know where it is anymore in your mouth. And that's a level of relaxation that we don't get to do every day and that we, you know, we can benefit from. Then I want you to take that relaxed big fat blob and stick it out of your mouth as far as you can. And you'll notice today, I have tongue tension. And every day is different. I might, I might have had it, uh, you know, something on my mind, and that will, it's an emotional area. As long as you can get that big fat blob, you're doing really, really well. Take some breaths over this big fat blob. Nose breaths, right? And try to get the tongue not to react to the breathing. And then I, I want you to do the next thing, which is to hum. This is mm -hmm. So you notice my tongue is staying wide. Uh, it is twitching a little today, but you don't want it to go back into your mouth when you're humming. I see that with students all the time. Okay. Then what I want you to do is glide. So. Mm -hmm. Find different pitches, and hopefully the tongue doesn't go back in your mouth or bunch or twitch more. So that's what you want. You want to really have that tongue not react. It's called the face hang. So what you're going to do is just hang, you're just going to bend your neck, hang your face down, and let the skin and muscles and flesh of your face relax and kind of fall a little bit, maybe a few centimeters away from your skull. So they're totally relaxed and you'll feel your tongue and your jaw being part of that. And when you're in the face hang position and you start to feel your face separating from your bones a little bit, I want you to take a mouth breath and feel just how deep and luxurious that breath feels. Now pick your head up and now I want you to take a mouth breath again, feeling the same amount of space and feeling the cool air coming over the back of your tongue into your throat. And please do this as a silent breath because a noisy breath is a constriction in here. So it's a silent inhale, exhale through the mouth, 
over the back of the tongue, you'll feel your throat cool off a little bit. Anyway, so um, we're going to just do this. I'm going to feel under here. It should feel very soft. And that is a relaxed tongue, uh, back of the tongue. If um, any of this causes hardness bumping, and if you put your finger here and you swallow, you'll see what I mean by hardness and bumping. You can feel it moving down there and getting hard and moving down. So we don't want that to get activated by any of these exercises, and that's going to be the challenge. And when it does get activated, which you might for many of you, you'll go back to part A, to the tongue relaxation technique. So we're going to go like this. We're going to feel under here, and we're just going to breathe through our nose. And then through our mouth, too. And you want no bumping. A lot of times mouth breathing will activate bumping. So you want to say, okay, I'm going to bypass that. I'm going to just soften my tongue. I'll go back into the, my relaxation technique and try it again. So the next one I want you to do is just to hum. A comfortable pitch. I didn't bump. If I had, you would have seen my finger come down a little bit. The next one is to move, uh, move into a vowel. So, uh, okay, no bumping. Excellent. And by the way, find your own pitch that's comfortable for you. Um, we're going to do a, a staccato now. So that's a broken up vowel. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so I didn't bump. Thank goodness. I could go do glottals too, like ah, 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 like the word uh oh, uh, uh. You can feel a little bit of a, like just a little ping happen in the beginning of the sound. That's called a glottal. And you don't want that bumping either. Okay, then we're going to do a held tone. Uh, Yay, no bumping. And next, this is the real challenge for most people, is the inflection. Uh, oh, just the idea of doing it, I bumped. <laughs> so that goes up a little, right? Uh, and then we can go even higher. Uh, I bumped. Uh, and because I do this every day, I just did like a two-second face hang, one-second face hang, and got rid of the bumping. Anyway, that's my routine for tongue tension. I suggest it as a daily warm-up. It will, look how I warmed up I feel now. It will warm up your speaking voice. If you have to get out there, you're an actor, you're a public speaker, it's a fantastic secret way <laughs> that no one would think of to, to really uh, warm up your voice. It's great when you're nervous, like, you know, because I said the tongue is an emotional area. Think about before a performance. You really want to have a, a loose tongue. And it's great for the singing voice. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you again real soon.